Early one morning, on our holiday to Orlando, we stopped off at Discovery Cove. Discovery Cove is a part of SeaWorld. We checked in early to make sure that we got Sea Venture and our dolphin interaction booked early. This gave us plenty of time to enjoy the park for the rest of the day. There was a delay until the park opened, so we stood there and watched the sun come up. Everyone shuffled along to head for breakfast, uh, ready for the long day ahead. Bird sounds and chatter filled the air. All food and drink is provided throughout the day and is part of the Discovery Cove package. And as we ate breakfast, watching the white ibis, along came the squirrel thief, who was taking the food from the floor at first, then directly from people's plates. At 9.15, after a short video briefing, it was time for Sea Venture. Sally went first, it was her first time doing this. The Sea Venture helmet was lifted onto Sally's head. It weighs 40 pounds, but it is a lot lighter when you're in the water. My turn next, and as I'd done this before, I found I had been too buoyant, so I asked for extra weights to keep my feet firmly on the lagoon floor. At 25 degrees C, the water temperature takes your breath away a little bit, but the helmet goes on and you just get into the water. You can't talk to anybody underwater, so it's hand signals and looking at people writing on slates to communicate. Everything's well organised, and throughout, the staff take photographs of you for your photo package. We followed the divers when we were signalled. Now we know how astronauts feel when they walked on the moon. It's such a surreal experience. With so much going on, it's very difficult to take everything in at once. We made a stop at Sharkville. It's separated from the main tank by a piece of glass and we were asked if we would swim with the sharks. So I said yes. Most of them were harmless nursing sharks and as it was feeding time, they weren't interested in any humans anyway. photographs. It's easy to smile when you're having so much fun.
right in front of us is a tank of clownfish and the diver made a joke on the slate. Good luck finding Nemo. We were directed to another spot where we were going to have some interactions with sea urchins. And then we got to hold cowrie snails. Spotted eagle rays glided by and then folded their wings gracefully just to go through the tubing from the diving helmets. Onwards we went, going towards the conclusion of Sea Venture. Someone fed the fish from above and we were caught in the frenzy. In total, we'd spent 45 minutes underwater but now it was time to get out and enjoy the rest of the day at Discovery Cove. I was so excited about the whole thing, I climbed out of the water with the weight belt still on and hadn't even had time for a joke. Straight afterwards, we grabbed some snorkels and headed for the Grand Reef. You can snorkel there and just interact with the fish. Spotted eagle rays just glided by. and a blue tang held my attention until this strange looking guitar fish came by and settled by my feet. Boy does it look weird. We finished snorkeling for our dolphin interaction we couldn't film them, but here's some photographs for you to enjoy.